Hi, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic narrative. This is very quick and easy. So what we're looking at now is a Google, Ana Google Analytics dashboard that I created, and it has a dynamic narrative in this pink box. But first, let me zoom in so you can see how that works. So this is dynamic, so it's controlled by the date. So we can, or any um, filter you have here. So if I click one month, you can see that information updates here. The date changes, the, the percentage changes, and also the other values change. Now we can easily create that by just creating a new measure. So I'm going to go to modeling, create new measure. And then I'm just going to start with some text. So the total sessions are, and now I have text, and I'm just going to leave that named as measure, and then I'm going to bring in measure, and then I'm going to change that to a card. Now we have a sentence, well, a broken sentence, sentence fragment, and I'm going to get rid of the category. So we don't see that label at the bottom, then I'm go I have metrics here that I can choose from. So for example, if I look at the sessions table or our calculations table, we have tons of metrics. So I have a metric here called total sessions. So I'm going to bring that in. So I can say, let me go back to our measure. And now I'm going to add, and the way we add is use the ampersand. And you can see I left a space here. And I'm going to put total sessions. And then I can click that. And that value is updated. We may want to format this value. And a quick way to do that is to just use a format function. So if we go over to format function and we wrap this value in format and then we can use a string value to change how that appears. So if you go to DAX guide, there are tons of ways you can use different string values and you don't have to look this up. So I'm using the number sign, a comma, and then I'm closing that off with quotation and then closing off my bracket. And you can see that puts a comma there. And if you go to DAX guide, you can see how to format these in many different ways. So now we have a sentence, but we're missing that period. So in order to get that, we use ampersand and period. And then our period appears. How is this? dynamic. It's dynamic because any slicer we use, and let's use a date slicer here. I bring the data in and I turn this into a slicer, slicer or filter. We can have a dynamic value. So let's just quickly add one more line to this. So let's go back to our measure. And let's say the exit rate of the web website is and now we leave that space and then let's go get our exit rate which is another value that I have so it's just waiting for the value so exit percentage and then I bring that in and then let's pull that out Let's use exit rate. I don't think the. So there's our exit rate. As you see, it's a long value. Again, we can use format. As long as I format. And this time. I'm going to use the word percent instead of the symbols. And I hit format. 
And now we have a dynamic exit rate. So now we have two sentences that create a narrative that dynamically update as we use different slices. I hope that helps. Thank you.